All right, this is gonna be a short video because we're gonna make a really quick change here. I just wanna fix that bug right now that's happening inside the game. Uh, it's not even a bug, it's literally something that I programmed inside the game and that I just don't like. Uh, so if we run over here, we jump on this frog real quick. Let's wait till he's actually moving. Boom, and you see how the cloud was still moving inside the game? That's all because it still has velocity. So let's go ahead and actually get rid of that inside the game. So right now, when, you, when we are actually triggering the death, when we're actually going, oh man, you're dead. Uh, this death actually makes the destroyed object, gets rid of it. But this actually triggers the animation and the effects. So this is where he actually looks like he's exploding on here. So I'm, I'm going to want all the objects to actually have this. So for now on, we're actually going to go protect it. Actually, you know what? I kind of want you guys to figure it out. What's giving us the, the velocity? How is that working out? And how do we want this to get fixed? Why don't you guys go ahead and try to figure it out? So there are a couple of problems here. One is that we don't actually use a rigid body on the uh, eagle, but all the same, we're gonna want this to be in here because most of the enemies are gonna use rigid bodies. And we can always, I can show you a little function now, make it so that we don't really have to worry about the eagles not moving around. So rigid body, we can do RB. We're gonna go over here and go RB equals get component. Like this. We're gonna go rigid body 2D. You're gonna see some of the beauties of inheritance here in a second. So we go over to where the frog is at, and you're gonna see on here that we do not even really need to have this on here anymore because he already has a rigid body. Now we also don't need to have this anymore because of course, he already has the. This is already happening in base dot start. So the only thing that he needs to figure out is where his collider is at now. Okay, so that's the only thing that frog's happening. And honestly, we don't even need an eagle script because we're not doing anything different in there. I'm thinking I was gonna add maybe some functionality at some point, but for now, we're actually gonna just get rid of the eagle script altogether because if we're adding a rigid body to it and everything, it, there's just no point. So what we're gonna do on on this is we're gonna go to where the eagle script is at we're going to remove that component we're going to add a component of enemy and now he just has the enemy functionality on him instead because he just gonna sit there and do any, do nothing anyway all right we're going to hit apply we're going to check the other eagles make sure that they're good and now they all have that as well and we're going to go back in here so now we can make changes to the enemy and change everybody all at once right and we don't have to create no uh but we do have to create a rigid body on our eagles to deal with the fact that now it's checking for a rigid body so we're going to go rigid body 2d we just don't like all those editor mistakes it probably wouldn't do anything if even if they don't find rigid bodies but eh, actually let's show you so let's remove the component let's go over here once it starts up we'll get a bunch of errors but it might still run console Oh, where are they at? No errors? Should be looking for a rigid body. I don't know why it's not giving an error. It should be looking for a rigid body on those uh, eagles. Because it has the git component rigid body 2D. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to serialize that field and see what they do. Just to check it out. This is always a good idea to figure out because a lot of things that work inside of Unity, you have no idea what's going on. You're just like, yeah, that makes no sense. That makes sense. And then you just kind of have to like go test things out to figure it out. It's not like everybody can give you every detail that, uh, that exists inside the game. All right, so we're going to go check it out. And Eagle is still not giving us any errors. We go there and look at him really fast. And they say none. So I don't know what's going on there. Huh, that's really interesting that they're not having that problem with it. Even though it says get component, I guess that get component doesn't give that error. That's really interesting. I used to see like an error pop up all the time. It would turn red and it even like mess up the game sometimes. If we actually try to run something with RB, of course it'll give a problem, but I guess if we're not having that issue, we don't really need to add a rigid body to it. So if you wanted to add a rigid body to the eagle and you still want the function the same, in other words, it doesn't fall because there's gravity there and stuff, what you could do is go to the eagle, go on here, go rigid body 2D. And instead of dynamic on here, which is where all the gravity and stuff, you can go kinematic, meaning that you don't want it to move unless you script it inside of there. So if we hit play on this right now, and. 
see things still function the same, right? I uh, guess it's not needed. I'm still going to apply it anyway. I would recommend doing it just just because, um, honestly, like, I really, uh, I'm like 90% certain that, that Unity used to throw an error on the, when that would happen. Like, you would script that off. Right now, they must have, like, they must have changed something, or I'm just remembering it wrong. But either way, you never know when something's going to change. It's best practice that if you're saying get component on something and, and to have that component on there. Uh, kinematic uh, works just fine, so I would still have it on there, but that's just me. You don't have to. It's not as uh, performant to have something useless on there, but it also allows for you to add more functionality later if you want the eel to fly at you and do other things. You can do things like that. Okay, anyway, well, you know what? Scratch that. All right, so you're going to want to add the rigid body 2D no matter what anyway, now that I think about it. Because uh, because we're actually about to script off and write RB dot you know set velocity and all that stuff. We're gonna do that stuff here in a second. So because the reason why the when he's getting jumped on is when they already have a velocity they're actually moving. So what you want to happen is you want to go RB dot velocity equals I'm doing it wrong. It's vector two dot zero. There we go. So he goes vector dot uh, vector two dot zero. It'll actually just generate a normal vector two with zero zero inside of it. It's the same as saying new vector two zero zero like that. It's exactly the same thing. You don't say new in front of it because you're not making a new vector two. You're literally just grabbing up the this right here. So I like to do it that way just so I can get in practice of doing that. It doesn't really make a difference of how you do it. It's the same thing. Now that should fix our nice little froggy buggy. We can go in here and run right through. All of our enemies now should... There you go. You see that he stopped right there. He was just about to hop. And... It happens no matter where we go. I think that about sums it all up. Uh, thank you for hanging out with me. Please hit that like button if you liked the video. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that uh, bell notification so you can find out when and where I am uh, putting these new videos up. More than you know, subscribing and liking, please leave me that comment below. Let me know what you like, what you dislike, what you want to see, what you definitely don't want to see, and all of the above. Uh, I have lots of ideas, but you know, I never know what you guys are thinking. Alright, so thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye.